Even Stephen, that is the uh, phrase of the day, isn't it? Indeed, the spring equinox, right, Candy? That's right, Jim. Well, happy first day of spring, everybody. And uh, temperatures did not disappoint today. We were in the 80s, so yes, above average. And yes, spring is going to officially start tonight at 8.06. A few of you are asking me on social media why is it starting a day earlier. Well, let me uh, remind you that uh, it's a leap year. So, yes, we're leaping into the spring season right now. So why don't we talk about your weather forecast for today? Beautiful day. Here's a live view of downtown Bakersfield. You can see nothing but sunshine and a few high clouds in the distance. But overall, a really nice day. 78 degrees right now. Humidity is 33%. And the winds are steady coming in from the west at uh, 10 miles per hour. Our high today, well above the average average was 80. The average is 71. And take a look, the record set back in 1914. It was 90 degrees. Her sunset at 708. So let's talk about the um regional satellite you you could see up a few pockets of moisture still lingering uh, in our local mountains uh, producing some thunderstorm activity there that will continue as we head into the next few hours but I'm expecting that to die down as we head into tomorrow and uh, that's only going to happen mainly in areas like near to Hatsby you could see right there in areas like Weldon and Lake Isabella you could see those thunderstorm activities but overall I think we're gonna say goodbye to that and we're gonna welcome more steady and um, in pretty uh, qu uh, quieter weather so what is really happening? We have high pressure to the north of us right now, and then we have another system. This one is, is the one wrapping around some of that moisture that is still lingering. It's uh, located moving further east in Arizona right now. This is creating a red blocks, and that is pretty much blocking the pattern of uh, warmer weather to the north and colder weather to the southeast but starting tomorrow the weather pattern is going to change the red blocks is going to weaken and that is going to allow for multiple disturbances to really come in as we'll head into the next few days and guess what yes it's going to be a wet weekend as we welcome well the first week of spring so in the meantime enjoy tomorrow we're looking at upper 70s in fresno 74 in sacramento low 70s if you're heading to los angeles air quality tomorrow will be moderate today was good and tonight we're looking at upper 40s tomorrow's going to be a beautiful day upper 70s across the valley portion of Kern County up in the mountains also really nice a little bit breezy though with winds gusting at about 35 miles per hour 71 Lakes Vela at low 60s in Fraser Park and out in the desert look for a high of 77 in California City now let's talk about the uh, seven-day forecast because we're tracking rain and we're tracking snow as we head into the week and in fact some of the models are suggesting that we might see a little bit of snow over the grapevine once again as we get closer we'll get a better idea but that's going to be uh, as we welcome once another system coming in from the Pacific Northwest. For the mountains, you're looking at sunny conditions over the next few days, temperatures in the low 60s, and then dipping to the upper 40s as we head into Sunday. So quite a change. And then warming up as we head into early next week. And finally, you're looking at the Lake Isabella area. You're looking at low 70s and then dipping to the low 50s as we head into the weekend. That's a look at your forecast. Jim, back to you.